So a new air quality alert has been issued to parts of the Midwest now as millions of people in cities across the Great Lakes area are finding the sun blocked by smoke from those Canadian wildfires. You are looking at video of Minneapolis marking its worst air quality on record since 1980. And just to remind you, this is what New York City and other parts of the Northeast looked like just last week. It comes as dangerous storms and at least 10 reported tornadoes are slamming the southeast, knocking out power to almost a quarter million homes now, spanning all the way from Texas to Florida. Our chief meteorologist Ginger C has more on that in just a moment. But first, ABC News Alex Perez is in the Windy City and joins us now with more on how things are looking there. Since we last talked, Alex, how's the air quality? Uh, what's the latest with the alert and how are those there in the city responding? Yeah, Carol, well, authorities are asking people who don't need to be outside, especially those who might have some sort of respiratory issue, to stay inside. Here's the good news right now. Authorities in the Minneapolis area and in the five states that are under some sort of air quality alert right now say they expect that most of this smoke is going to move out of the region as we move into the weekend. But uh, just yesterday in the Minneapolis area, they had an AQI of 243, the air quality index, and uh, 243, to give you an idea, is the very unhealthy level. Uh, to compare it to what we saw in New York last week, those numbers were in the upper 400s. So clearly not as bad as what we saw last week, but still of concern and still labeled very unhealthy in the Minneapolis area. And those five uh, states uh, in the Midwest still keeping a close eye on things. All of this, as you mentioned, Kira, coming from those wildfires in Canada and picked up uh, by the wind, by the weather systems in the area, and, and creating these issues. Now, in the Minneapolis area, they have an air quality alert set to expire at about 6 a.m. tomorrow, and authorities believe they will allow that to expire because things seem to be moving out of the area even this afternoon. Our understanding from officials in Minneapolis is that they expect the air quality to be much better already this afternoon, and by the end of the weekend, back to what would be considered uh, somewhat normal, Kira. But of course, this is something that mm -hmm. is gonna have to continue to be monitored because these wildfires are still raging and summer season is approaching, so that means there could be other wildfires to come. So we're not exactly in the full clear just yet, Kira. All right, we'll keep checking in. Alex Perez there in Chicago. Thanks so much, Alex. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.